He wants to head back to that boat. Here he comes. Now he's got him under the shadow of ours. He's just got to wait till he comes up. Nah, pull him up. Tide's still down low, so we're still working around the boats. See why. Now Jason took that fish off the back of one I dropped. Once you draw the fish out, I got to throw a good shot into the boat. Got one, dropped him. And then Jason just wait, let his flutter to the bottom, just waited behind it and bang the rest of the school turned back onto the boat and he picked that up. Alright, better change our tactics a bit now. We've um the sun's dried up, the tide's down at its lowest, so these fish aren't that active. So we're letting the rubber sit on the bottom and you just get the ever so gentle, gentle touches of the the rubber, you can barely even distinguish them as bites. The key to it is just to keep it there. Just keep rattling it, rattling it. This fish probably took, oh, I don't know, up to 30 or 40 seconds to, probably longer than that, close to a minute to hook him up. Loaded up on him then as he went back down, there's a good chance I would have lost him. So. You just don't know how well they're hooked. They had a net with people, we have got a net with Chile's and pull it up. Watch the bourbon. That'll be a nice fish to want to pull them up from the net. Now we had to wait for him to get that right down into his gob. He was just, just nibbling. It completely different style of fishing when before we were letting them hit and just going rattle rattle looking for weight expecting to hit on a drop this time we'd let them sit right on the bottom wait there for 10 15 seconds give it a rattle leave it 10 seconds give it another rattle and Just finish this brief fishing video of about such a drama with our cameras. So first of all, we'll let this fella go. We started about 10 minutes ago, dropped two, caught two. So we're doing alright. Especially since it's the middle of winter. Today's little trick though, what I, what I did to get that one there, was I used a little one inch power crawl back of the one inch power crawl, stuck a little one inch nymph. So when it hits the bottom, it's like these two keep fighting with each other and the big old brim just can't be on it.
he's only lived. Yeah. That's that's the style of fishing that you do on you getting those lip fish like that, aren't you? I'm that's more in row up, isn't it? Show the mouth again just where you hooked in though. This is why we're so gentle on. He's only just in the yeah. But just through the through the lip. That's the ultimate hookups when you get them like that. Can you see him yet? Aren't they sluggish to take off and then? Oh, he's a nice one, that one. They, they're just holding, aren't they? They just seem to hold their weight. As they see light. There he is. Just don't want to come up to that clear water. Another good fish, sir. Just lips. Yeah, I'll That's one of the reasons why you go for the heavier leader in here because what happens is you can feel them great across there. The lighter leaders have lost some of these fish just by crunching the knot off. I've seen daylight about five or six times now, you just don't want to come up. He's not as big as what I thought he'd go, this fella. Classic winter broom. Lots of fun. Just let that other big fella go. Cast out. I've already got another one. You wouldn't believe it, you know. Middle of winter. A couple of years ago. If I got one brim like this all day, I'd be happy. It's about 12.30, 1 o'clock in the day. And we've been catching these ever since we got out of here at 6 in the morning. I haven't really got the rim written all over it. Get the anchor right to the boat. Every time I get one of those dud calf, I just line in now. Unless it's really active, you know they're, they're already on the tube. Stays down for another half an hour. That's a nice little fish. Oh, he's on. It's got a lot to do with that that cast onto the boat. So we were just talking about you, you miss a boat, you miss a shot by about a foot. You often don't even get a look in. As soon as you get that perfect cast, which was like the third cast I just did then, the fish just come up and swallow you. He's not real big, but I'll clear him out. It's incredible. You, you couldn't, you couldn't imagine a fish being sitting under there and current and everything, especially like where we've had two casts already. But it's, it's really got a lot to do with 
some nice little pan size one. It's really got a lot to do with the accuracy of the cast and how we drift along, like we drift down onto the boat, cast into the boat and let the rubber come down it. And that's what they pick up. It matter too much if you hit the side of the boat and have them slide down, but that water line's the shot. Ooh, quite a 